There we go. What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the Cowboy Seabop Show. Today, boys and girls, Seabop's going to do something a little risque. Listen, just want to try this on a budget blade before I try it on a more expensive blade. I want to strip the coating off of this this MTEC 151 MT 151 this is in my opinion is the cold steel trailmaster you know clone it's got an awesome handle beautiful thick blade and I just want to give it a whirl Let's see if I can remove this black coating and see how it turns out. If not, oh well, I tried and uh, I'll have to find another. If it's a success, a success, pardon me, I'm feeling a little, uh, you know, sore throaty here. We are gonna try it on the Ontario Marine Raider, the SP-10. All right, gorgeous knife, but I want this black removed. Let's see what happens. Let's see what I can do, all right? So it's gonna be broken down into some clips. I got my Carhartt gloves. I used this stripper before on the, uh, the Rambo machete, and uh, that was like a year and a half, two years ago. And it seemed to work, but I do remember I wasn't nervous about that. It was beat up. And uh, I sent it out to Donnie B all day and he fixed it up for me, the edge, because I really screwed up the edge on that. So I didn't really care. But anyway, I do know that this stripper here <laughs> really burns the hands. So I'm hoping that these uh, Carhartt gloves do the trick. So we're gonna spray it, we're gonna let it sit, and then I'm gonna take uh, 120 grit first and see you know where we are with that if this doesn't work we'll go with a, a higher number hey it's all trial by error here so let's see what happens with this mtech 151 mt 151 so stay tuned everybody and say a prayer be well All right, I'm back. As you see, ladies and gentlemen, I taped up the guard and the handle. I don't want to remove that, you know, coating. So, I, we're ready to start spraying here. Okay, let's put the camera in this hand. Let's see here. How do you want to do this? How do you want to do this? All right. Let's do this. There we go. All right. Here we go. Remember, I said trial and error. Clean strip. Got my goggles on. Give us a whirl. Nice generous amount. I was gonna do one side at a time, but let's flip it over. Let it soak in there and then see what happens. All right. Let that soak. I shall return. Yep, there goes my Leo. It's a new day, ladies and gentlemen. Say hi to Ralph. <laughs> Ralph's not feeling good. Say hey, buddy. Anyway, it's a new day. And uh, I got all the black off. Let's see here. Look at that. That strange patina. 
on the steel on this side of the blade compared to this side. Isn't that weird? I don't have a, there's like, you know, buffer marks on the one side. Very, very interesting. So, what we're gonna do is, I got a bunch of uh, sandpaper, and we're just gonna start with the low number and work our way up. You know, we're gonna, we'll stop like say halfway, and I'll show you, and I'll show you where we're at. All right? I shall return. Have a good day, ladies and gentlemen. Forgot to mention one thing. Safety first, ladies and gentlemen. I did my best taping up the, uh, the sharp parts of this <laughs> knife. <laughs> All right. Hey, I hope it works. It's an extra measure of safety. I see that little m -Tech logo is still there. There we go, USA Design. All right, not sure if that's gonna stay there after I sand it, but um, all right, here it goes. Stay tuned. All right, guys, just to let you know what I'm up against here, I just spent about 40 minutes with just this uh, 120 grit sandpaper, okay? And I was trying to get in all the nooks and crannies See, the M-Tech's still there. And it took about 45 minutes just to do one round. So, I don't know how long this is going to take. I'm going to work my way up. This is hard to do on the spine. Can't seem to get rid of that just yet. It almost makes me feel like I should have just kept that coated. And then did the rest, but I don't know. As I said, it's a work in progress. <laughs> Trial and error. Not too shabby though, right? For a uh, first pass. So stay tuned. I shall return. All right. I got up to uh, 240 grit sandpaper taking a break and here's where I'm at so far this is after the 240 was applied so I got a few more to go and next recording will be the finished project not too bad it's getting there. All right, all right, all right. Okay, I think I'm done, ladies and gentlemen. I could have went further, possibly, but uh, I don't know. I just think there's only so much you can do with this. So um, here, just take a little uh, quick gander at this. Just I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little game here. Can you tell me? which one is the cold steel trailmaster or which one is the m tech 151 ready quick glimpse okay 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 ready whoop one more time whoop come on is it on the left or on the right which one is which which one's on the left which one's on the right one more time. All right, just a quick glimpse. But here we go. I tell you, this was very therapeutic. Very therapeutic. Out here for, I don't know, 
between eight and ten hours off and on. What do you think? Did you figure it out? Well, the first thing I noticed was this. You ready? Here's the cold steel sand my trail master. All right. This is the M Tech with the black coating removed. I'm uh, I'm pretty proud of the way this came out. We're gonna come closer, so just hold on for a second. One of the first things I noticed was, actually it was my wife that noticed this, all right? This uh, here, I bought this m -Tech for like a hundred and, or a hundred, like 25 bucks, like a year and a half ago with the black coating. And uh, I'm not even gonna tell you how much the Cold Steel Trailmaster sand my San May is can't even say it. but here's what she noticed I asked her to compare the two and she's looking and she's looking and she goes well the first thing I noticed was I can see my reflection in this one in the m -Tech. and this uh, expensive cold steel there is no reflection nothing zero But, uh, I mean, we all know the Trailmaster by Cold Steel is just, it's phenomenal, all right? It's phenomenal. I just wish the, uh, the m -Tech had, you know, a stainless steel guard. It doesn't, all right? This is some sort of a, uh, I don't know, some sort of metal, all right? So, here we go. The steps, all right, to refresh everybody's memory. Okay. First of all, the supplies needed. What were my supplies? There we go. We needed a like a stripper, like a chemical spray. All right, I used that that quick strip uh, in the video. All right, gloves. Because if you get some of that chemical on you, it ain't going to be fun. All right, tape. Tape up the edges and the handle, all right, a scraper, and a razor blade to get into those, uh, you know, those tighter areas, you know, down in here, all right, okay, goggles, safety first, everybody, and a little mother's polish, just to kind of like, you know, shine it up a little bit, okay, step one, Tape up the edges and the handle and the guard. Step two, in like a, you know, a separate little area, I, I just use, you know, my trusty old stool over there. Spray the blade, both sides, and let it marinate for about an hour. Step three, scrape off the coating as much as you can. Again, use a razor blade for the tighter areas. Rinse and dry. Step five, start sanding. Now, each grit of sandpaper I used, I started with a low number and worked my way up to a high, the highest number. I think it was like 3,000, all right? I spent about 45 minutes to an hour just on the first round of sandpaper. It was the 120 grit. And then I spent about 30 minutes on like 180, I believe it was. So each one was called a round. I think I did 12 rounds total, okay? And uh, for, the, for the rest of the sandpaper, it was about 20 minutes each now I originally had this like you know handle you know that came with the sandpaper but I didn't use it I just used you know my hands no machines whatsoever nothing it was all you know by hand so uh hey and then um 
step six. Give it a couple strokes on a stone or a rod, you know, for a little touch up sharpening. And then uh, polish it up. This might need to be uh, sharpened a little bit more, but let's just see here. Let's see. Man, yeah, this, this is a little damp, this paper, just from laying on this table. Yeah, it rained last night. But as you can see, it's pretty sharp. All right? Go. All right. That's the end of that. So now let's just come a little closer. I had a problem with the spine, all right? And uh, I did the best I could. So here we go. Let me just pick you all up. So you get a closer look at this. All right. Check out the spine. I did the best I could. As I said, I might have been able to go a little bit further, but I, I already did get carried away. I just didn't want to get too carried away. Getting into those tight spots. Just uh, time consuming have a lot on my mind and uh, you know as I said about eight to ten hours off and on I should have I should have kept track better track but I didn't so when you have a lot on your mind you have uh, little obstacles in life you need to figure out as I said this was very therapeutic okay I'm pretty happy you guys remember in the video I was talking about that M Tech logo? It's still there. I don't know if you can see it. My eyes aren't the best, okay? The guys that know me well know I have some eye issues. <laughs> but again, I did my best. So what do you think? Leave it in the comments below. If this helps just one person, I feel like I did my job. All right? So, again, compared to the cold steel. What do you think? All right, everybody. Stay safe as always. And uh, I'll keep in touch, let you know how things are going. And I'll be back soon with another new knife video. All right, take care, everybody.